For balance exercises, always make sure you have plenty of space around you and your child and guard them as needed. Another way I like to work on dynamic balance is by having the child stand on some items that are unstable or uneven. Um, so around the house, you can just have them stand on pillows. Um, or I also have a rolled up yoga mat, or if you have something that resembles a balance beam, or even if you have a balance board toy. Um, so with the pillows or cushions, the easiest um, step to do would be to have one foot on each pillow. And then again, you could just make it more of a static activity by having them count. If you want it to be more dynamic, you could have the high fives by having them reach or bend. And then you can play a game such as catch, aiming to the side so they have to weight shift above their head. Good. And then you could have them put both feet on one cushion. And the closer their feet are together, uh, the more challenging the balance will be. And what I like about having them stand on unstable things is it teaches them uh, balance strategies, especially at the ankle. So because it's uneven, they really need to use their foot and ankle muscles to maintain their balance. And again, you can start more static, progress to play more dynamic games, such as throwing a ball. And with things like a balance beam or just a rolled up yoga mat, you can have them stand on it the lengthwise like that. So their ankles are going to have to move uh, frontwards and backwards as a challenge, or they could stand um, forward so their feet are both facing forward, turn around, and put one foot in front of the other. Yep. So that's going to add in some hip stability and core stability. So those are some more ideas to incorporate some balance that really works at developing an ankle strategy and core stability. Thanks.